Olá amigos, mais um vídeo aqui no meu canal, então se você ainda não me conhece, eu sou o Juliano Crema. Quando eu não estou trabalhando como dermatologista, eu viajo pelo mundo e eu estou também envolvido com concursos de beleza. Hello everyone! If you don't know me, I'm Juliano, I live in England, but I'm originally from Brazil. When I'm not working as a dermatologist at the hospital, I travel the world and I'm also involved with beauty pageants. No momento eu não posso viajar porque a Inglaterra está em lockdown, mas não tem problema, porque nós iremos continuar a série de vídeos comentando a jornada de Julia Gama, Miss Brasil 2020, rumo ao Miss Universo. As you know, the England is in lockdown, so I cannot travel at the moment, but it's not a problem, because we will continue to comment the journey of Julia Gama, Miss Brasil 2020, on the way to the Miss Universe pageant. Então, se você gosta de culturas diferentes e está curioso sobre os concursos de beleza, se inscreva aqui no canal e ative o sino de notificação e você continuará recebendo os vídeos postados regularmente. So, if you like traveling and you are curious about beauty pageants, subscribe here at the channel and don't forget to activate the YouTube bell and you'll continue to get the videos that we post on a regular basis. E será que Julia Gama será a sexta Miss Universo que já participou também do Miss Mundo? Se depender de nós brasileiros, ela será sim. Mas como a nossa opinião não conta por bairrismo, vamos saber agora a opinião dos estrangeiros. Vamos conhecer a opinião da pessoa que mais entende de concursos de beleza no mundo. Julia Miss Brazil is a strong contestant this year, with chances to become the sixth Miss Universe that also competed at Miss World. If you not agree with this, you might change your mind after hearing the opinion from this expert. Tiene un rostro bellísima y es muy muy desenvuelta. Estoy completamente de acuerdo. Brasil normalmente es alta, pero ¿sabes qué pasa a veces con Brasil? Que a veces no hablan inglés eh, tan desenvuelto y entonces pero quiero decir, gente les cuesta. Pero niña, hoy, pero siéntate con lo que te voy a decir. Ajá. Esta brasilera, cariño, habla cuatro idiomas. Está, está. Y, okay. es, y de esos cuatro, uno de ellos, ¿sabe cuál es? El chino. Porque la niña vive en China y ha hecho películas en China, series de televisión en chino. É dizer que esta niña pode recorrer o mundo inteiro e comunicar-se com todo o mundo, porque agora não sei quantos idiomas. Bueno. Practica jugo, eh, patinaje, patinaje artístico e practica o boxeo. É dizer, por se caso as coisas não mal, pa, 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 conhaça com todo o mundo. <risos> pero Mel, ahorita nadie está viajando. Então, ajá, que chévere que hables todos esses idiomas. Bueno, bueno pero, será ser um zoom certo, com se... gente em todo sí, niña, lado. Pero, sí. Pero cuando todo esto se acabe, que se tiene que acabar, eh, la Miss Universo tiene que viajar. ¿Qué es lo que estás viendo ahora que tiene que, que le está gustando más a esta organización? Que sea una tipa pila, ¿no? Más que, porque todas son bellas, pero la que es más pila y que habla más elocuentemente, esa es la que es. Por eso te digo que la brasilera es una fuerte candidata, porque habla muy bien, eh, eh, habla cuatro idiomas, se maneja maravillosamente bien. Además, el, el, un gran porcentaje de estas candidatas de este año tienen 26, 27 y 28 años. ¡Guau! Wow, no, no sabía que era más grande. No... É, gente, depois de ouvir os Mel Souza, a gente fica até aliviado. Afinal, ele é um expert. Ele é responsável pelas sete coroas de Miss Universo para a Venezuela. As chances de coroa para o Brasil por Julia Gama são realmente reais. A organização Miss Universo atual quer realmente mulheres eloquentes. De uns anos para cá, eles criaram até um discurso depois do anúncio do Top 20. Vamos ver agora o quanto de eloquente Julia Gama é, dessa vez, em espanhol. We all know that the opinion of Osmel Souza values a lot because he's an expert. He helped Venezuela to get seven Miss Universe crowns. So let's check now how strong is Julia Gama. Look into her recent interview in Spanish and don't forget that her mother tongue language is Portuguese. No, 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 no. Eu sou uma mulher latina. A mí no me da pena trabajar duro, a mí no me da pena empezar pequeño. Yo sé el poder que tiene la empatía, la humildad y la estrategia. Así que yo estaba en una cultura completamente diferente. El primer paso para mí fue ser humilde, entender que yo podría aprender mucho con la cultura china 
y así siempre respeté mucho la cultura de ellos. Y así las puertas empezaron a abrirse para mí. Allá, además de todas las diferencias que tenía con ellos, yo buscaba las semejanzas que tenían. Además de eso, por eso, al final somos mujeres en cualquier parte del mundo. Así que cuando yo encontraba una mujer china, conocí a una china, yo pensaba, así como yo, ella tiene sueños. Así como yo, ella ya tuvo miedos. Así como yo, ella quiere sentirse respetada. Empatía. Esta empatía que yo tenía con ellas en reconocerme en ellas mismo que tan distintas que pareciéramos, hizo con que conquistara su confianza. Y luego yo tenía muchas mujeres en China soñando mis sueños junto conmigo. Y yo digo que fue con empatía y fraternidad de, entre mujeres que yo logré mis retos en China. Con ellas a mi lado yo hice una estrategia y ahí trabajé con constancia por casi cuatro años. Luego puedo decir que yo en China grabé películas al lado de actores muy famosos allá. Fui imagen internacional de marcas importantes. Representé a mi país en el Congreso Internacional de Leprosy y en el BRICS. Y al final abrí mi propia compañía de media y entretenimiento para ser un puente cultural entre China y el mundo. Mi mensaje para todos ustedes hoy que nos escuchan aquí es que luchen por su felicidad. Que no busquen la perfección, sino que crecer todos los días. Todas las herramientas que son necesarias para lograr un sueño se pueden ser aprendidas. Y así que también invito a todas las mujeres aquí a apoyar las mujeres que tienen alrededor, porque juntas vamos más lejos. Gracias a todos. E a primeira vez que uma candidata ganha o Miss Universo tendo competido previamente no Miss Mundo aconteceu em 1971 com Georgina Hiske do Líbano. And the first time that a contestant wins Miss Universe after competing previously at Miss World took place in 1971 with Georgina Hiske from Lebanon. Check it out. Miss Lebanon. The attractive smile of Georgina Risk, who's 17 and a half and a model. Miss Lebanon. My name is Georgina Risk, and I come from Beirut. A young lady our audience seemed to like, Miss Lebanon. Lebanon here is Georgina Risk. She's a model in Beirut. Yes. And you enjoy your job as a model? Yes, very much. I was modeling since uh, four years. I began at uh, 14 years and a half. Mm -hmm. And of course, smiling is an important part of being a model. Yes, of course. You've had to smile so much this week, Georgina. What's your secret? How do you smile and keep smiling and keep smiling? Oh, because I'm happy, you know, so I'm smiling all the time. And it's no problem for you. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> well, you should be very happy now among our 12 semifinalists. Thank, Thank you, you Miss Lebanon. <laughs> Miss Lebanon.
Brasil!
E é tão bom ouvir essas histórias porque, obviamente, em 1971, nós não éramos nem nascidos. And it's so nice to hear those stories because, obviously, in 1971, we were not born yet. E essa situação se repete de novo em 1989 com Angela Visser, da Holanda, que vai inicialmente ao Miss Mundo, não se classifica, ninguém entende como, porque ela é maravilhosa, é lindíssima e acaba vencendo o Miss Universo. This situation happens again in 1989 with Angela Visser from Holland. She goes initially to Miss World, she did not place and she ended up in winning Miss Universe 1989. Check it out. Holland. Angela Visser is a model and she lives near Rotterdam. Holland! Miss Holland, Angela Visser. Miss Holland, Angela Visar, 22, from Rotterdam. Hi, Angela. You speak Dutch, German, French, Spanish, and luckily for us, English. If you had to describe the, French, the Dutch people, how would you characterize them? Well, the Dutch people, in comparing, for example, to the Mexican people, are a little bit more moderate. It doesn't mean that we're not, not nice people, but I feel here with the Mexicans such a lot of temperament. And maybe inside the Dutch people have it too, but we kept it a little bit hidden. And um, if I have to say more about it, I love to live in Holland. We are a very peaceful country. We are very peaceful people. And uh, I've, born, I've been born and raised there, and uh, I love it. Okay, of all the other contestants here, who would you say had the most different upbringing other than yourself? Pardon? Who had the most different upbringing from you? Upbringing? Yeah, who had a different um, childhood than you? Um, well, my childhood was very lucky. I've, uh, have, I have a great family. I love my parents and my brother. And uh, I think what I noticed about all these girls is that they are very lucky inside and um, we discussed about different kind of families they come from and I would say maybe Miss Nigeria I had a conversation with her in the bus and I was really like amazed because uh, for example she has to be home at seven o'clock in the evening and we start the dinner in Holland then you know <laughs> so if you talk about those things that's completely different but she is happy in the way she's raised and I think we all are oh good I'm glad thank you Angela Miss Holland thank you. Angela Visar. for a career in television and public relations. A year as Miss Universe would certainly put her on her way. Ladies and gentlemen, the first runner-up is Miss Sweden. You are now 
Wow Miss Universe. You've won cash prizes totaling over a quarter of a million dollars. And for the next year, you'll represent not only Miss Holland, but all the countries of the Miss Universe pageant. Now, would you like to take your first proud walk? Em 1992, uma candidata chamaria muita atenção pela sua beleza, jovialidade e altura, Michelle McLean da Namíbia. Ela foi muito bem no Miss Mundo, ficando no top 5, e meses mais tarde ela ganha o Miss Universo. Em 1992, we had a very strong contestant, she was very popular because she was very tall, beautiful and young. She did very well in Miss World, she ended up in top 5, and months later, she won Miss Miss Universe, Michelle McLean from Namibia, Miss Universe 1992. Hi there, I'm Michelle McLean, I'm 19 years of age and a part-time student of massage and reflexology. I come from the sunshine capital, Vintook. Miss Namibia, Michelle McLean, enjoys social work and has special training in drama and acting. Three places to be filled, the next one goes to Miss Namibia. It's a country that's very um, sp sparsely populated. We have 1,4 million people. In a country that's so big, um, um, Switzerland could fit into it about 24 times. So we have a lot of open space, which is something I love very dearly. So you're a country girl? Yes. Not for you the discos of Atlanta? Well, now and again, yes. <laughs> <laughs> All the little secrets come out here. What are you going to do with your future? I would like to go into um, holistic healing, perhaps the studies of Eastern massaging techniques. Um, I'd like to break away from the Western massaging techniques. They're becoming very commercial, and I'd like to do something different. I think, I think that is actually gradually sinking through to Western medicine as well, isn't it? That you've got to care about the whole person. Yes, yeah? that's right. Now, what is your idea of a really good time, Michelle? <laughs> I would say going on safari in the desert in Namibia. Um, sleeping under the stars, outside in your sleeping bag. That's a great thrill for you me. You want to take me with you the next time? I'd love Anytime. to go. Anytime. You're another lady who speaks lots of languages, don't you? I speak three languages. Go on, what are they? English, Afrikaans, which is a Southern African language, and German. My mum's German. Okay, well, it's very close to New Year. Let's hear Happy New Year in Afrikaans from you. Gelukkig een nieuwe jaar. And a Happy New Year to you as well. Thank you, Miss Namibia. Thank, Thank you. you. Please welcome Miss Namibia. Michelle McLean, 19 years of age, very tall again, standing at six feet, honey brown hair and brown eyes. This is Miss Namibia. And next, Miss Namibia. Michelle is wearing a black velvet strapless, full-length evening gown. The heart-shaped bust line is encrusted with diamante, as is the hemline, with the back of the dress featuring a high slit. There is a long chiffon train attached at the arms by Diamante Vance. Michelle's dress exemplifies top South African design. That's Miss Namibia. Okay, second finalist. Only five places, of course. Second finalist is Miss Namibia.
Miss World 1991 is... Miss Venezuela. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Venezuela is Miss World 1991. I definitely want a family. Um, I want to have my own clinic, a holistic clinic where I can practice massage, as well as maybe give people a little bit more insight into healthy living and a healthy mind with a healthy body. Next is Miss Namibia, Michelle McLean, who's 19 years of age, an international model. Namibia is in Africa, of course. What's it like growing up there? How many people are there there? There's 1.4 million people in a country that Switzerland could fit into 20 times. So it's quite a large space. What do you like most about living there? The cleanliness, unpolluted countryside, and plenty, plenty of space. We have so much beautiful countryside that we can travel around in. Um, not many towns. In fact, only one capital city and about... 17 towns. Is it unusual for you to come to a place like Thailand where there are millions of people so close together? Yes, it is. It's very different for me. When you were 14 years of age, you went off, let us see what it says here, to Madrid to model. Were you worried about that? Yes, at first I was, but I think after a while you get quite used to being around a lot of people and um, you get acquainted with the bustle of everyday life and the chaotic streets and shops. You look like you can take very good care of yourself. Please, if you will, step over here for the judges. This is Miss Namibia. <laughs> Miss Namibia. Namibia! Miss Namibia, if you'd come forward, please, and let me stir this up a little bit. Take one of those. Oh, there's still choices. Here we go. Uh, judge number eight, Estelle Getty. Estelle, may we have your question, please? If you had the chance to go into space for two years, accompanied by one other person, who would you want to take along and why? Aside from me. Uh, I think I'd like to take my mother along. Not because she's a maternal figure for me. She has been the most inspiration in my life in the sense that she has encouraged me to do many, many things. Um, and she gives me emotional support as well as insight into what I want to do in the future for myself as well. Um, she's helped me to prepare my career for the future, which is holistic healing. Thank you very much. Please wait here a moment. From that voice composure, you'd never guess that 19-year-old Michelle is one of the youngest contestants here. And if she wins, she'll be the first ever from Namibia to take the crown. 
the final three. Miss Namibia. We'll play a little bit of music, and you and I will step over here. Same question for everybody. Everybody in there? Okay. If you became leader of your country tomorrow, what is the first thing you would do? I would speak to the children, tell them that I'm there for them because they, they are the foundation of our every nation and I'd like them to know that I'm there for them. Thank you very much. If you would please step over here and wait a moment. And we'll begin with Miss Namibia. You will, ladies, please join me. I'm about to reveal the name of the first runner-up and the new Miss Universe. Let me remind you of the importance of the first runner-up. If Miss Universe is unable to complete her reign for any reason, our first runner-up will become Miss Universe. Ladies, good luck to both of you. The first runner-up is Miss Columbia. Miss Universe is Miss Namibia. Michelle McLean, congratulations. You are the new Miss Universe 1992. You've won all the cash awards and the prizes worth more than a quarter of a million dollars. And now, as our entire cast serenades you, the stage is yours for the traditional walk as the new Miss Universe. Em 1999, Miss Botswana ganha o Miss Universo em Trinidad e Tobago, tendo participado do Miss Mundo dois anos antes, sem se classificar. Em 1999, Miss Botswana wins Miss Universe and she also competed at Miss World two years before, where she did not qualify. Mapuri Quilagobi, Miss Universe 1999. Hi to Miss Botswana. Hello. My name is Mpule and I'm 18 years old and I'm proud to be representing the Diamond of Africa, Botswana. described as Africa's last Eden, correct? Where is Brazil's, would you say, last Eden? Um, well, I think the place where Brazil has, which is a natural history, has to be the Amazon jungle. Um, the reason why I chose the Okavango Delta as my favorite place is because it's very natural and it's undestroyed. And I think the Amazon jungle probably has the same thing. Now, if, if you want to bring more tourism to Botswana, what tips would you pick up from Brazil? Ooh. Ooh. How do you get people over there? How do you get people there? Yeah. Oh, well, I tell them about the beauty of the place. I think Botswana is one of the most beautiful countries in the world. Um, it's very peaceful. It's very relaxed. Uh, when you're there, you really feel as if you're in paradise. Right. What do you do for fun? In Botswana? Yeah. You go to a cattle post. It is known that every Botswana has a cattle post full of cattle. So that's where you go. Okay. <laughs> Botswana.
You're the first delegate in the history of Miss Universe from Botswana. Now, aside from that, how would you like to be remembered? Um, I'd like to be remembered as a pioneer for young women. Um, I was also one, only one girl in my class in electronics. And I think I want to be remembered as a pioneer in the sense that I paved way for young women, both in my country and throughout the world. You said that you'd like to be the first female president of your country. What would you do differently than the president of the United States? Oh, <laughs> a lot. Well, first thing is, um, I know that if I was president, I would definitely make education compulsory, especially in my countries where you get in rural areas. Some people are not going to school or starting school late. And I think if I was president, uh, they'll sort of make compulsory. But I think even the president of the United States caters for that as well. Thank you very much. Baswan, step right back up here. She's real cute. I think she's adorable, and she's only 19 as well. I feel really? like she's like 28 or 30 you know years what? old. What could have been a very controversial answer, or very risky answer, she pulled it off great. I think well, she did. Education. All right, Jack, delegate number four, let's hear what she has to say. Filling the third and final spot, Baswana! Tonight, the first runner-up and winner of a cash scholarship from Oscar de la Renta Swimwear is Philippines, the 1999 Miss Universe Botswana. This evening started, you were one in 84, now you're one in a million. Take your walk. E nós não podemos deixar de falar dela, Catriona Gray das Filipinas. Ela foi top 5 no Miss Mundo 2016 e é a ganhadora do Miss Universo 2018. We cannot miss for sure Catriona Gray from the Philippines. She was top 5 at Miss World 2016 and she won Miss Universe 2018. Catriona Gray from the Philippines, for sure, she is one of the most successful beauty queens in the world. Check it out. My name is Catriona Gray. I'm 22 years old and I work as a model and singer and I proudly represent the Philippines. A multimedia winner, Philippines. Sports winner, Cook Islands. Representing the Philippines, our 22-year-old singer and model who won multimedia. Cook Islands. Next semi-finalist is Philippines. I work as a commercial and fashion model. I also dabble in a bit of hosting, singing, and in my free time, I like to travel and I write about my travels on my blog. Becoming a young adult, I kind of found myself in a situation where I felt that I was in this closed off little bubble. That's why I wanted to go out and do charity work. I work with a charity called Young Focus, and what they do, they provide uh, educational programs, extracurricular activities, and also school sponsorships. Uh, I was lucky enough over the past week to be selected as one of the finalists for Miss World Talent. I love singing, and I'm very passionate about music, so it was really fulfilling to be able to showcase my voice in the talent competition. Tonight in the crowd are my parents, along with my other family, my aunts, my uncles. I know that when I get out stage later that I will feel the presence of the Filipinos. All right, our first semifinals of the night, Philippines. Now I know you do a lot, you sing, you write, and you're doing so much, but what is the ultimate purpose of everything that you do? 
Well, like any creative, my purpose is to make people think, feel, and ultimately connect with one another. Like, you know, when a song makes you feel like no matter what you're going through, you're not alone. And if I can contribute to society and somehow give back to the community, I have achieved my creative purpose. Well, I hope you're able to do that and continue on doing that. Congratulations. Our fifth and final finalist is Join us after the break. Okay, Miss Philippines. Last and certainly not least. How are you? Yeah. Yep. Yep. You're like, let's get to business. There you go. Take the mic. Thank you. My question is, which qualities do you think it will take to wear my crown? I think, first of all, it takes bravery. To be a Miss World is to carry a burning torch. It is an action carried out by one to illuminate the lives of many. And I would dedicate my whole self, my love for the arts, and my voice to trying to uplift, empower, and educate people. And it would be my greatest honor and duty to hold this torch high enough so that all the world could feel and see its light. Well done. And the winner of Miss World 2016 is... Stephanie Delval from Puerto Rico is Miss World 2016. model and singers raise funds for various charities through benefit concert held in the country and abroad. Philippines! Philippines! Philippines proudly raise funds to purchase and renovate an old apartment building in Manila. This 24-year-old turned the building into the Young Focus Child Care Plus Center, a school offering free education to children. Philippines! Philippines! The second semi-finalist from Africa and Asia Pacific, 
Philippines. How are you? I'm fantastic, Steve. I bet you're happy to see me. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm happy. The Philippines loves me. Listen, you're a singer and a musician. If you were going to write a song about your experience here at Miss Universe, what would you call it? Well, you know what, Steve? As a Miss Philippines, I've always felt the love and the support of the Filipino people. And I think I brought half of my country here tonight. And so I would name the song Raise Your Flag because I stand here not as one, but as 104 million Filipinos. Thank you, Philippines. Working in some of the poorest areas of my country, I found that it was a lack of child support, not poverty, that killed their dreams. A child once told me, Kat, that's just not my life and those dreams aren't meant for me. But I stand here today because someone believed in me and we owe it to our children to believe in them. Kapong ka! Philippines! Once I started the music, it just was fulfilling in a way that everything else wasn't. My mom told me that even when I was in the womb, like I was dancing along to music. <laughs> I'm an only child, very, very close to my parents, especially my dad. He would always say the longest journey starts with a single step. When you have a dream or an ambition and it's so far away and it's so high up, you can feel overwhelmed. But when you look at it as just one step at a time, one day you're gonna look up from your feet and you'll be at your destination. So that's a piece of advice from my dad that I feel I'm gonna apply in my whole life. <laughs> Philippines! Philippines! Oh wow, a slow-mo turn. And then she goes on into giving us that great face, that great attitude. She's, she's killing the game here. seconds of show. Here we go, everybody. Okay, ladies, here we go. Line up. Showtime. Philippines has so much riding on this. And of course, a crowd favorite. Now that dress is quite daring and different. I love the color. I love her smile. She has a sultry, sultry walk. Earning spot number three is... Philippines, it's time. How are you? I'm good, Steve. I can't believe it's top five already. <laughs> well, it's here. Uh, here's your question. Canada recently joined Uruguay as the second nation in the world to make marijuana legal. What is your opinion on the legalization of marijuana? I'm for it being used in a medical use, but not so for recreational use. Because I think if people were to argue, what about alcohol and cigarettes? Well, everything is good, but in moderation. Thank you. Thank you, Philippines. To take the Miss Universe crown is... Philippines! Philippines, please join me. Congratulations. I'm sorry, my bad. 
Okay, get ready. Here is the question. What is the most important lesson you've learned in your life and how would you apply it to your time as Miss Universe? I work a lot in the slums of Tondo, Manila and the life there is very, it's poor and it's very sad and I've always taught myself to look for the beauty in it, to look in the beauty in the faces of the children and to be grateful. And I would bring this aspect as a Miss Universe to see situations with a silver lining and to assess where I could give something, where I could provide something as a spokesperson. And this, I think, if I could teach also people to be grateful, we could have an amazing world where negativity could not grow and foster and children would have a smile on their face. Thank you. Once again for Neo, each of these three women stand within reach of the title. When we return, it's the moment you've been waiting for all night. We crown the next Miss Universe, so don't go away. Only two women remain, South Africa and Philippines. Please come center stage. Both of you have worked so hard to get here, but only one of you is about to become our new Miss Universe. If for any reason the winner is unable to fulfill her duties, the first runner up will take her place. Good luck to you both. Universe is Philippines. It was very nice to spend time with you all here and I will see you all in my next video. Take care! E o sonho, a coroa de Miss Universo com Julia Gama continua. Eu espero que vocês tenham gostado do vídeo. Não se esqueça de se inscrever aqui no canal para acompanhar toda a trajetória da Miss Brasil rumo ao Miss Universo. E agora eu deixo vocês para apreciarmos ela, a estrela maior, Julia Gama. Tchau, tchau!